They all look at you the same way, don't they? All? They see a weasel or a rat. You're a survivor, Al. No shame in that. Even a rat survives. You can take it, whatever they throw you away. You know what greed could do. They'll fight like rats. This is all just a game, isn't it? A big, twisted, fucked up game. You know the answer to that. Am I stuck here until I see the error of my ways? It can't be like this forever. There has to be a way to break the cycle. Either wake me up, or just fucking kill me already. What did I do wrong? Why do I put things right? Kill me! Kill me right here! Right now! I'm not afraid to die! What you want? What do you think will be waiting for you when you get out, Sal? You think the city will be just as you left it? Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Good Old Crazy video. Now this is going to be one of my last videos where I go over an easter egg cipher that was indeed solved. And today we're going to be going over the Good Old Crovy easter egg cipher that was indeed solved. My final cipher video will be tomorrow, I've just got a couple more to cover and I will be referencing these ciphers in future videos but they're going to be about specific topics and I'm going to use the ciphers to back up my evidence in terms of the storyline rather than making a whole video on the cipher. Now I will leave a link down in this video's description to the Call of Duty forums, the Call of Duty Zombies forums, so that you can read this cipher for yourself. Now this is one of the shortest and simplest ciphers out of all of them, however it's one which in my personal opinion is my favourite and is the one that holds the most significance in terms of the storyline. Now you can see the cipher that can be found on Garod Crovy on screen right now. Now this cipher was in fact decrypted by Kalanine, I probably mispronounced her or his name there sorry. And this cipher Cypher was in fact decrypted in a Zulu format, which I believe is an African version of a cipher, so I'm not sure why they decided to use that. But when you decrypt the cipher, it reads as follows. It was a strange plane, with landing hard. In a way we passed through time and space, flying over the areas that should not be there. Hmm, there was no sign that there remains. I do not know where it landed. Honest. Now this is very, very interesting and probably the first thing that comes to your mind is that this is meaning and standing for the mob of the dead plane and I agree also. Obviously there are other possibilities, it could be referring to the Zetsubo no Shima planes for example, it could be referring to uh, Brook and Gary from uh, Shangri-La. We have seen planes reoccur throughout the zombie storyline but obviously throughout Black Ops 3 zombies the mob of the dead plane has been the most significant and obviously it holds something very, very significant and Jared did tweet out a while back that all the DLC are going to be tying into Mob of the Dead, so Mob of the Dead definitely is one of the most significant maps in terms of the storyline, especially this Mob of the Dead plane. Now we saw the Mob of the Dead plane that had landed on the Giant, and we also saw it fly over uh, Shadows of Evil after you have unlocked the Packer Punch. Now some people believe that we did also see it in the sky on Zetsubo no Shima. In my personal opinion, I don't think that was the Mob of the Dead plane. I think it was a different plane that just looked very similar to it, like a reused model. People even thought they saw the Mob of the Dead plane within the Garod Krovi gameplay trailer. Again, I don't think it's the Mob of the Dead plane, it just looks somewhat similar. But what could this cipher mean? Now, we know that the plane seems to have been, you know, temporarily displaced from Mob of the Dead. It seems to be ripping through the universes and ending up in just crazy, weird places, such as Shadows of Evil and the Giant. But does this mean that the Weasel managed to escape Mob of the Dead? Obviously, at the end of the Mob of the Dead Easter egg, you could either break the cycle or let the cycle continue, and if you broke it, the Weasel would kill the other characters. Is it not possible that the weasel, maybe if you went through that route, managed to escape on the plane and then whilst he was flying, he was temporarily displaced through a rip in space and time to another universe? As we've obviously had quotes recently talking about how the universes have just become fucked and we've created all these multi-universes and it seems to have been because of Maxis, but that's for a video tomorrow. And that's probably what has caused the Mob of the Dead plane to be displaced, but does this mean that we could be seeing the return of the weasel? 
Weasel, or maybe even the other characters in the future, most likely just the Weasel, return within the storyline, maybe in DLC 4. Or maybe we'll see his return within the Call of Duty comic books featuring the Transit crew. Whatever it is, the Mob of the Dead plane is a massive symbol in terms of the zombie storyline, and is something very, very significant. As it says within the ciphers, in a way we pass through time and space, flying over the areas that should not be there, obviously showing that the universes are all just colliding together. Now I think this cipher is not coming directly from people on the plane, which I believe it was just the weasel, I mean maybe someone else was riding but that would make no sense, there's no evidence to back that up. But it seems to be coming from the perspective of someone who saw the Mob of the Dead plane flying over, and a group of them saw the plane flying over. Now what if, this is a crazy theory, but what if the transit crew saw the Mob of the Dead plane flying over? Obviously we know they're making a return within the storyline, and there's also been another cipher within Garrod Crovey that hints that maybe uh, the blood vials have come from the transit crew and they were experimented on at Nuketown to get those uh, get the blood samples. Is it possible that in this comic book that we're going to be getting, the Call of Duty Zombies comic book, at some point the transit crew stumbled along the Mob of the Dead plane and maybe then the two storylines of Mob of the Dead connected back to the overall storyline as a whole. Now we do also know that Nikolai and Weasel seem to know each other somehow as we've heard quotes of them mentioning each other, both the Mob of the Dead and also Moon. And I think the reason for this is because obviously the characters are getting thoughts and memories of other versions of their other selves. Obviously we've got an infinite amount of universes now and it's possible that their memories and thoughts are merging with other versions from the future, other versions from the past, other versions from other universes. So maybe at some point Nikolai has met the Weasel sometime down the line in the future in another universe and that's how come they have memories of each other as their memories are colliding due to the universes ripping and merging as one. I'm confident the Weasel is going to make a return at some point and the quotes are going to make sense. The quotes from the Weasel, he says Nikolai, Nikolai, why do I keep hearing that name? Obviously he doesn't know why he's hearing it because it's another version of himself that has seen Nikolai at some point down the line in the future or another universe. Let me know all of your thoughts on this down in the comment section down below. I believe we will see the Mob of the Dead plane again in DLC 4. I think everything's just going to go to shit once that plane turns up. We've seen it on the giant, we've seen it on Shadows of Evil, and we saw it just fly over Shadows of Evil because obviously Shadows of Evil seems to be set in a purgatory-like realm, just like Mob of the Dead, so my get best guess is, is that I never actually physically went in to Shadows of Evil, but it just flew in through the universe and then flew back out for a very brief second. Whereas on the giant, the plane is physically landed, which makes me believe that maybe someone came out of the plane, unless it was just temporarily displaced for a short time or something. Thing, or it doesn't mean anything significant and Treyarch are just, you know, trying to hint to us that the Mob of the Dead plane is significant and it's turning up in places where it shouldn't be. But I do believe this plane has much more significance than we will ever truly understand and as he said, I do believe the Weasel will meet our characters at some point within the future, whether that's within the comic book, whether it's within DLC 4, or whether it's in some other format such as a cipher that we will hear about in the future. But anyways, thank you for watching the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not if latest and greatest Black Ops series zombies news information so anyways thank you for watching and uh bye where are we going from here they all look at you the same way don't where they do we you see a weasel and a rat you're a survivor Al. no shame are in that even a rat survives you can take it, whatever they throw you away. You know what greed can do. They'll fight like rats. This is all just a game, isn't it? A big, twisted, fucked up game. You know the answer to that. Are you guys interested in getting free Call of Duty points for free supply drops and liquid divinium and or DLC as well? Well have I got news for you. There's going to be a link in this video's description where you can download a 100% free app. Upon downloading this app, you can then install it and then you can download apps via this app. 
via downloading the app as well as sharing the app with your friends via your referral code. You will very quickly build up a ton of points of which you can then purchase Xbox Live, PSN or Steam cards which can then be used to get 100% free COD points as well as DLC. Hopefully this helps.